Hello and welcome to Jan and Jeff. Jan, are you there? I am. Ah, but you don't sound very good. I, I will have to do most of the talking today. I, I think so. And if you can believe it, I mean, this just came on yesterday. But I have to leave tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock for a flight to California. Oh, my gosh. So this will be our... This will be our last Jan and Jeff for a week or two then. Yeah, yeah. I think that, well, I don't have the calendar in front of me, but um, so count two weeks and, and, and then we'll do it again. Then we'll I do know it. I said that. And by that time, your voice will, have, will be better. Absolutely, absolutely. So what's going on? I see you had, had wanted to talk about Starbucks. Well, I wanted to talk about Starbucks, and we were, we were going to do that on, on – um, on Friday, and I screwed up, and I didn't send you the invite, so that didn't happen. And yeah. in between, I went to my in-laws' farm in Burgundy. Yeah. And I had a rather interesting weekend, very short, but very interesting. On Saturday, we made apple juice. Oh, tell me about it. That, that's for, it's fun, but it's really messy. I can tell you that. Yeah. And the key is you have to grade your apples before you press them. Uh, I don't yeah, know if you've greater. ever if you've ever seen apple juice being made because there's gonna be like for example this weekend there'll be a fed fed you seed that they're oh, making okay. right. little right. Place, and they have a huge gigantic press. We have a press that has probably. Um, it's a, probably about uh, two or three gallons we can make at a time, or two, that has that capacity. Wow. But basically what you have to do is you have to take your apples, and I, and I don't know the proportions of how many apples you need to make a yeah. gallon or a liter. I, I can't, I, that, I'm not too sure. But you have to grade them up. They have to be graded into like, like you grade cheese. You have to grade them. Otherwise, they're not going to press. We've done, we did it when the first time I ever tried to do make apple juice, it yeah. um, didn't work because we didn't grade the apples. We cut them up, but that doesn't right. work at all. You either have to have a ton of pressure, which you're not going to have in a little thing yeah. like you have. It's not right. going to work. Well, now, see, I didn't know that because I make a lot of applesauce, and I saw a picture on your Facebook page. Bear with me, everybody. But I saw that picture where you have that fun machine that, that skins them. Right, right. Oh, I'm, I'm actually on my third one. I love them. You stick the apple on there and you crank it, and it just takes the skin right off, and it takes the core right out. But, it and does. so I make a lot of applesauce, but I didn't know that you had to then grate them for apple juice. Yeah, you do, otherwise it just doesn't work. I and didn't know it's, that. Um, and, and we, though our thing is small, our press is really small, and we don't fix it to the table. If you've ever seen. The, either a wine press or uh, an yeah. apple press, although it would yeah. be the same thing. Yeah. They're, they're big for a reason because they have to be heavy that they don't yeah. move when you try to. Right. Some of the right. places you got to, you know, you got to go around, and it's it's really um, it's very difficult, and so you really yeah. have to hold. Them. So we probably wasted a lot, but anyway, it's anyway. What was interesting is just before this on on Friday, I heard that in France they, they estimate that seventy five percent of the apples go to waste in France. Wow. And, yeah, there's a lot a lot of apples. Like my sister in law, with my sister in law, the trees they have the trees and they fall on the ground and ah, what do you yeah. do, right? Yeah. And there are, there are now uh, associations that. Take people's apples, they pick them, and then they make them into something. You right, kind of, like a like a co-op. Like a co-op, yeah. yeah. They do it for free. They come and they take your apple. Oh, uh, okay. You know, and they make something out of which yeah. is kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, because you know, I like I said, I make a lot of applesauce, and we have an apple tree, but I don't make applesauce with those apples because they're just, you know, that's kind of an old tree, and I don't even eat them. I actually give them to the neighbor because she likes them, but. They, they just, I don't know, they just, they're kind of an old apple. They're, they're, they're old apple, yeah. yeah. They're flowery and they don't have a lot of juice and, you know. No, it's, I think you realize is that how much when, when we, because we buy, we have everything we buy in the store, yeah. the supermarket, the vegetables, the fruit and vegetables, you realize how, how they, how select it really is when you yeah. grow something yourself or you see it yourself because Absolutely. apples they have they have worms or they have a little bit of this yeah. and they're not yeah. really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you know, right here in the Rhone Valley, we have a lot of fruit. And um, there's quite a bit of, um, fruit, you know, pear and peaches and uh, apples. And uh, I actually buy crates. I think I told you this last year. But they, my apples come from the, from the lower Alps. Okay, yeah, exactly. Where I live, yeah, I live in the so Savoir. good. Yeah. Yeah, I, where I live in Savoir, it's a lot of apples. That's why they have a, we yeah. have an apple. We're going to have a cider festival this weekend, like I said. Oh, so, okay, yeah. I mean, wow. it's gigantic. It must, weigh, it must weigh a ton. The press is huge. Yeah, oh, I can imagine. Yeah. You should put a picture of that on the, on your Facebook. Yeah, I should. I, I will. I will. And the other thing we did, and I did yes this yesterday morning, which I have done before. Have you ever picked mushrooms? You know, I haven't, and I don't really want to. I, no, we we where we do it. We well, I'm not going to tell you where it is because every if you got good mushrooms, you don't. Absolutely, it's a secret. It's a secret, absolutely. But we went and we've done it before. And we've never, I've done before, and I've never really gotten more than like, you know, half, of, like a pound maybe or something. Yeah. And yesterday we picked over 10 pounds of mushrooms. Wow. It, wow, it, wow. It, That's a lot of mushrooms. It's a lot of mushrooms. We filled up a, we filled up a plastic bag and a bucket of mushrooms. And it's a, it was amazing how many we there were just in fact we left a lot we didn't have enough space to to pick them all wow. Wow. and the ones we picked they I don't know what their official name is but they call them rose yeah because if if you look underneath you take the mushroom it's white on top and you look underneath and it it's it's what it's almost like like a rose wine it almost looks yeah. like a rose wine. And it's really, but when they get black, they're not good. They're well, theoretically, they're they're past their due date. You know, they're, yeah. they're no yeah. longer ripe. Right. And so we right. had all those. We had those, and then we had them for uh, lunch. Wow, very good. I mean, you know, picking mushrooms is huge down here too, especially these. It is. Yeah. It's really something, it's something, yeah. I don't think we do in America, and I maybe it's there's no. a reason for that, but I don't know because because. No. Um, you know, if you don't know your mushrooms, they can be really dangerous. They can be and very, can kill you. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And, you know, California, we don't really have, um, you know, the terrain for, for that. Exactly. So, you know, it's different. But maybe back east, maybe some of your people that listen, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, from like Kansas or, you know, there might be some areas in the United States where they do, but I don't know. About, but here, everybody goes mushroom picking the last couple weekends of September and the beginning of October. Yeah, exactly. You go out there, you, you see people, you see a lot of people along the road, yeah. you'll see yeah. them. In. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm it's, not that big of a fan of mushrooms to get the wrong, you can actually take them to a pharmacy and have the pharmacist will tell you whether they're good to eat or not. But um, I, you know, I knew some people that died <laughs> <laughs> from eating the wrong mushrooms, and I just can't do it. I just, just, what what my sister-in-law, who I was hunting with, told me, and I don't necessarily know that it's true, is in a field the mushrooms cannot kill you. She said they can. She said you know normally in a field if you go on a pasture the mushrooms you see there are going to be okay, and it's in the forest. And my mother-in-law said that's not really necessarily <laughs> true. I would watch it. Yeah. It, yeah. I would watch it, but when I I went one time to, to my son's school, or they had a like a field trip in here, field trip, and in, 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 actually in the town, it was a thing of nature, and they had a bunch of different mushrooms, and they were telling the kids this mushroom, yeah. well, this one you can eat, this one, well, this one you don't want to eat at all. It's very yeah. interesting. Yeah, it is. You can get really, really sick. And talking about mushrooms, this will really blow people's minds maybe i remember when i was younger and um, drugs were really popular they were a lot cleaner then <laughs> but my older brother gave us some uh peyote buttons which were mushrooms that the indians used to eat wow and the peyote buttons are you know a dried mushroom and they taste so bad that you had to dip them in honey and you couldn't really chew them you had to like try and swallow it but let me tell you, it was I can see what the Indians saw. <laughs> I only <laughs> did it bad. once. I only did it once. And so that was my mushroom experience. I'll stop there. We'll stop. Okay. We'll stop but, there. Uh, have a good trip in America. I will. I'm only going for two weeks.
Okay, well, I hope and everything works. Right, yeah. and when I come back, we'll talk more about duck, duck soup. Exactly, duck, duck soup will be the first thing we talk about. All right, absolutely. Have fun, Jen. I will. You too, Jeff. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Ciao.